Hi guys, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be using dumbbells for a dumbbell mini circuit full body workout. So mini circuits meaning there are three circuits throughout this routine. First one focusing on lower body, then upper body, then abs. In each circuit there's three exercises that we're doing back to back with no rests and the exercises in each mini circuit are repeated twice. So we're really gonna fatigue the muscles and get them stronger. Now, every week I'm creating six new workouts for you guys, which are a mixture of cardio and strength training. So make sure that you check out the rest of the strength training series on my channel. Now, as for the dumbbells that you should be using, for the lower body exercises, you want to go medium to heavy resistance. For the upper body and the abs, you want medium to light. Everyone is so different, so pick whatever weight you are comfortable with. If you haven't got a set of dumbbells, don't worry. Stick to one pair and you'll be absolutely fine. You will need a mat as well because we are doing some floor work and water. If you enjoy this workout, subscribe and share it. Let's go. Okay then guys, so as I said, this routine is three mini circuits. In each mini circuit, there's three exercises that we're doing back to back, 60 seconds for each exercise, no rest periods, and then we'll have a minute rest after each circuit. So in the first three move or three exercise circuit, we've got a squat, curl and press. So we are dumbbells in the hands, squatting, curl them up, press up with the shoulders, okay? And repeat. We've also got a sumo squat and a bicep curl. So toes pointed out, wide stance, squat, dumbbells come down, stand up, curl up. Down, up, curl. And then the third move is a forward lunge and half fly. So lunging forwards, dumbbells come out, step back, onto the other leg, back. Let's go in three, two, one, go. So squat, curl and press first. And don't worry, I will talk you through and run over again the next exercise. So you don't have to remember all of those that I mentioned in the beginning, all right? I'll remind you as we're going through. Keep that core tight, keep the chest nice and lifted. So squat, stand up, curl, press. Good. So squat nice and deep. And we're going five more seconds of this straight into the sumo squat and bicep curl. Okay, so legs wide, squat, stand, curl, squat, stand, curl. Again, chest lifted, squeeze those glutes as you stand up, curl. Good, keep that going. I love these moves, these exercises, combo exercises. You work in more than one area at once. Multitasking, I like it. Okay, 10 seconds. And then we're going into the forward lunge with the hot fly. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So forward lunge, dumbbells, Palms are facing backwards, dumbbells under the leg. As you step back, lift the dumbbells up, switch, dumbbells up. So from the front, step forwards, dumbbells under. As you're stepping back, half fly. Squeeze those shoulder blades, yeah? That's it. Keep the core in, chest lifted again. That's it.
three, two, one. Rest it off, guys. Okay. We're gonna have a one minute rest. Just straighten up my mat slightly. Grab a drink and then we will do that circuit again. So, squat curl and press, sumo squat bicep curl, forward lunge and half fly. Again, don't worry about remembering all of that. I'll talk you through it. And then after this next circuit, we're gonna move down to the floor and do some floor work. So yeah, okay, 20 more seconds. So relax, chill out while you can, get those dumbbells ready. If you've got a set of dumbbells, if that last circuit wasn't pushing you, you know, by the last few reps of the minute, that should be a push for you. If not, then I would suggest you get a heavier weight. But let's get ready to go in three, two, one with the squat curl and press. So squat, press. Take it nice and slow, there's no rush. Good. Halfway. Keep that chest lifted, core engaged, and press. Good work. Six seconds left, and we're going into that sumo squat and bicep curl. Three, two, one. Toes wide, so down, up, curl, release, up, curl. Keep that chest lifted, really squeeze those biceps as you come up, good. Squeeze those glutes as well as you stand. Keep everything nice and controlled. Regulate that breathing. Good. 10 seconds and we're going into that forward lunge and half fly. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. So lunge, fly. In fact, I'm gonna do it in this direction, probably easier. Chest lifted, squeeze those shoulder blades. one and rest it off okay so the next circuit we're doing guys we're going down to the floor if again you've got a set of dumbbells you might want a slightly lighter weight because i think upper body usually for most people you'll have a little bit of a lighter weight doesn't mean light i'd say probably medium what's medium for you so three exercises we're doing a lying chest fly so on your back dumbbells are up Go out to the sides, elbows slightly bent, squeeze the chest, push them back in, out and in. Second exercise we're doing is a Tate press. So to press, palms are facing out, the dumbbells come into your chest and then you lift them up like so. And this is gonna work the tricep muscles. So squeeze the tricep, bring those dumbbells out, back into the chest. Third exercise is 
a renegade row. So on your front, pull. So let's start with the renegade row. Keep that core tight. And this is gonna work the upper back and the core. That's it. Pull. Try not to rock too much. This is a tough one, but very good for the upper body. Keep pulling. into those chest flies. So onto your back. Palms facing inwards and the dumbbells are coming out to the sides, squeezing that chest to bring them back in. That's it. Good. Get those chest muscles nice and strong. Back flat on the floor and squeeze. work. Squeeze. So dumbbells out to the side. Squeeze. That's it guys. Keep it working. You're doing good. Three, two, one. Into that tape press. So palms are facing out. Dumbbells come into the chest. Squeeze the triceps to bring them back out. In, out. That's it. So when you straighten the arms, they should go out to about 45 degree angle away from the body. That's it. Halfway. Keep working. Good. Absolutely beautiful morning today. Ooh. Sun is shining, which means I'm happy. Here you go. In, squeeze, three, two, one, and rest. Grab a drink, it's that time, that minute rest time. So, grab a drink, relax, chill out, and make sure if you are enjoying this workout, subscribe to the channel because I have so much variety of workouts on there it's not just dumbbells there's loads of other, other things hit workouts skateboard workouts kept by workouts you name it so subscribe and you can also follow me on Instagram which is Nicolette Life Fitness to keep updated and you know then when videos get released etc so yeah and I hope you are enjoying this workout I thought the mini circuit idea would be just something a little bit different so We'll go back into it in about 15 seconds. And then for the last circuit after this next one, which is a repeat of the same exercises, then we'll go into some abs. But we'll start off with that renegade row. So on your front, let's go. So in a plank position, pull, pull. Working that upper back and the core. Keep that core tight, otherwise you will struggle with this one. And if it's too challenging as a full plank or you're starting to fatigue, just drop to the knees and that's okay as well. Three, two, one, 
twist. Okay, onto the back, chest fly. Dumbbells up, bringing them out. Squeeze that chest, back in. Good. Remember, keep that back flat on the floor. Really squeeze to bring those dumbbells back up. Get that chest work nicely. Good. Three, two, one. Into that tape press. So palms facing out, dumbbells come into the chest, squeeze the tricep, bring them back out. That's it. Halfway. Keep it moving. A few more seconds. Good job. Three, two, one, and rest. Good job guys. Okay, the last circuit is an abs circuit. So, first one that we've got is a sit up and press. So in this same position actually, that's convenient. Drop back, dumbbell comes, you sit up and you press the dumbbell above your head. Back, sit up, press. The next one we've got is a Russian twist. So Russian twist, keep it a little bit less challenging, then your feet will stay on the floor. The dumbbell will just go from side to side and will work those oblique muscles. Or push yourself that more, lift up the feet, okay? The last one we're doing is a dead bug. So you're gonna need both dumbbells for this. 50 degree angles, dumbbells above, opposite arm to opposite leg goes out, straighten it, back in, opposite arm, opposite leg, back in. In three, two, one, let's go into that sit up and press. Uh, sit up, press. Sit up, press. So you can either use one dumbbell or you can use both, depending on what weight you're using. For abs, you probably want to go a bit lighter, but it's entirely up to you. Okay, so keep pressing. That's it. Press. Keep moving. Three, two, one, into that Russian twist. Work those obliques, twist, get it moving, pick it up, come up. That's it. Remember to plant those feet down if you're fatiguing. Or you can drop the dumbbell as well. Russian twists are still effective without, but if you want to push yourself, keep moving with that dumbbell. Keep going. Two, one, 
into that dead bug. So both dumbbells on your back, 90 degree angle, opposite arm, opposite leg, straighten it out, pull it back in, keep the core engaged and keep going. Good. Really use those abs, the core, keep it nice and strong, keep the back flat. And again, you can do this dumbbell free as well, if you want. Bob. Three, two, one, rest. Whew. Take a rest, grab a drink, and then we'll go into that last abs circuit. Which is always a nice way to finish off a workout. Bit of abs. <sighs> okay. So remember, first exercise, sit up and press. One dumbbell or two. Russian twist, then we'll go into that dead bug. And I hope your abs are feeling it, because mine are. Whew. So get ready to go in about 15 seconds. Sit up and press first, 10 seconds. And we'll go in three, two, one. Let's go. And press. Really use those stomach muscles to pull yourself up. And to pull yourself down as well. You don't slam your back down on the floor too hard cause any injuries, slow and controlled. Halfway. Three, two, one. Into those Russian twists. So side to side, feet planted or up. Work those oblique muscles. That's it. Keep pushing. Keep going. Fifteen seconds. Nine, eight, seven, three, two, one. Into that dead bug. So. 90 degree angle, the feet, the legs, arms up, opposite arm, opposite leg, stretch it out. Back in and out, switch sides. Good. Halfway. Keep working, it's not over until it's over. Three, two, one, 
Aris. That's it, guys. Good work. <laughs> well done. You did an amazing job. Smashed it. I hope you really enjoyed that routine. I did. I enjoyed the mini circuit concept something a bit different and so I'll bring more of these to you. Um, if for whatever reason you did not feel challenged throughout that workout then I would advise you to repeat it and use heavier weights. Um, otherwise drop comments, let me know how you got on, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, follow me on Instagram which is Nicola Life Fitness, go grab some water, cool down or try one of my other routines and click on the link somewhere to find the other workouts. But until next time I'll see you later, bye!